know bark bike shorts. Boy bark shorts? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my tech wardrobe. My name is Caitlin and this is another sort of fashion video. I know what you're thinking, Caitlin, why are you in athletic wear? This isn't a workout video. Are you going to teach us how to do exercise? Okay, considering I just said teach you how to do exercise, I feel like I am absolutely not qualified to do that. <laughs> No, today we are going to talk about how to style bike shorts. You would have asked me even two or three years ago if I would have been giving people advice how to style bike shorts, I would have laughed in your face. If this gives you any indication of how often I use my bike, here it is. I have been mostly in my house for the past almost two years now, and I have wholeheartedly embraced bike shorts as a medium for comfort and for style. So today, I'm going to walk you through four ways that you can style bike shorts without necessarily looking super athletic-y like you came from the gym. This set is from Girlfriend Collective. It's a sustainable activewear brand. I'll link where I got them down below. Great brand, I really enjoy them. They don't stretch out or anything. Not sponsored, although girlfriend, if you're watching. First up is this walking around town, going out for a bite to eat type of outfit. I've paired a leather jacket, my Adidas All Stars, and my active wear set with the bike shorts. I've also included a baseball cap here just to sort of give you, I don't know, I almost feel like when I wear this outfit, I kind of feel like an undercover celebrity, you know, when they're just out about doing their life, I guess. and. They're just trying to go incognito. For some reason that makes me feel <laughs> that way. So I really enjoy it. And this is a very, very comfortable, comfortable look. Now I have put my DW t-shirt underneath this because I think a white t-shirt just sort of brings out the white in the shoes well. But again, you could do this with any color, any pattern of t-shirt and with shorts. Next up is a bit more of a beachy look actually as we move into the summertime. So I've paired my active wear set with a men's white collared shirt and this is a pretty flexible outfit. So let's say you were walking down the boardwalk, you know, you were at the cottage, you go out for the day. This is the type of outfit that you could potentially wear for that to just elevate the active wear just a little bit. And because it's so hot, here in Canada during the summertime. I really like an outfit like this because it breathes a little bit more than something like jean shorts would, for example. And you can wear these with sunglasses, but you can also tie up the shirt as well because I find uh, a men's dress shirt is just really good for its flexibility. So you can tie it up in a cute little knot, add a nice sun hat, and you're pretty much good to go. Walk that boardwalk. Next, okay, hear me out on this one. I feel a bit like a Pokemon trainer in this outfit, and I adore it. <laughs> I know this looks maybe a little bit boring and a little bit sort of 90s mom on vacation, but that's what everybody looks like now these days anyway. And I really love the comfort of this, and I love the fact that I could catch Pokemon and battle them at any moment. So it's always good to be prepared. My DW shirt, by the way, if you're asking, I made it myself late one night on Canva and designed it and had them send it to me, so uh, it is not for sale, but I truly think there should be more Arthur-themed merchandise out in the world, so if you know of any, let me know so I don't have to make my own. I've also included a pair of blue Converse here just to bring out the blue in the shorts, but again, you could do this outfit with any color at all. Okay, last, and hear me out, I know this is weird, I know it is, I know it is, but you know what? I love it, so there's that. This is a very old Topshop blue blazer that I have, and you know what? The colors match this active wear set perfectly, and I could wear it buttoned or unbuttoned. I have a pair of beige mules with this outfit. I just feel, I can't even describe it, like a, like a 
90s supermodel or a... I don't even really know to be honest, but I really, really love this look because it makes me feel so confident. And I highly recommend just trying a blazer of any kind with your bike shorts. And you can obviously wear a shirt underneath. You don't have to just wear sort of the crop top, active wear top. I found personally that the set just really matched the blazer well, which is why I wanted to do it that way. But completely up to you. If I were to wear a shirt under this, I would probably do like a white crop top or something like that. And I just love it. I know it's out there. I know people on the internet will probably be like, I would never wear this anywhere in my life. And you know what? That's fine. In which case, don't wear it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this journey through the bike shorts world. <laughs> I don't know. Which one of these outfits was your favorite? Comment down below. And listen, if you didn't like any of them, that's totally fine. And frankly, you don't even have to wear bike shorts, so don't come at me about wearing them outside. Bike shorts are comfy. I really like what they do for the booty, particularly. I'm just gonna say it. They do good things for the booty. The collect our, our collective booties. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it, and if you didn't, go ahead and subscribe anyway, because it might be different next time. Bye! Okay, so I couldn't actually end this video without showing you the bike shorts in action. So here's me after a 30 kilometer bike ride through the rain and the mud.